Tonight, a Foothills community in mourning for a teen found dead near a rest stop. The body of 16 year old Dante De La Torre was discovered last night, more than a day after he disappeared. And authorities say he was out working on a school project when he died, but we still don't know how. CBS 13's Brady Halbleib is live for us in Colfax tonight with how the teen is being remembered. This is a tough one, Brady. Well, guys, it's been a tough day for people up here. This is a small, tight-knit community. A lot of people know each other here, and that is what makes this news of Dante De La Torre's death so difficult for people to accept. It's going to be really hard for, for the community as a whole, though. The Colfax community in shock Friday after search and rescue crews recovered the body of 16-year-old Dante De La Torre Thursday night. He was found in a heavily wooded area near the Gold Run Rest Area off I-80. The idea of having somebody so young taken from us so early, especially someone that everyone knows, is going to be really devastating. Lily Nellist is a former classmate and friend of Della Torre. They competed together on Colfax High School's swim team. He was everyone's friend. Everyone knew Dante. Nellis describes Dante as someone with a lot of school spirit who participated in school activities like leadership. He was kind of like the face of their class. The news of Delatory's death traveling beyond Colfax. Placer High School student Sawyer Morris has friends who knew Delatory well. This kid that passed away, he was very involved with all the sports. It's really shocking that he's gone now. And while many people have questions surrounding Delatory's death, Nellis says supporting the family should be top priority. And letting them know that they're not alone and that this town is there for them. Now, in a statement from the Placer Union School District, it reads in part with additional counseling support, gathering rooms, and alternative to uh, classwork, the students were able to express themselves and care for one another as they grieve. In the statement, it also says the cause of Dante's death was not related to any school assignment. Now, the cause of death is still under investigation, but foul play has been ruled out of um, has been ruled out at this point. We are expecting to get a full report from the coroner's office sometime next week, but still, of course. A a lot of questions here, and we will keep you updated as we learn more, guys.